thank you don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the to hit the notification bell so you get to know whenever we post the next video we'll be looking at some of the reasons why people don't learn how to sew even after they've invested so much to learn you know why i'm saying this why like i just felt like this is something we should look into and pay attention to because sometimes we tend to like overlook one or two things because this year I believe and I'm, and, and I'm out there to make sure that you learn, you master every craft you set out to master this year. So let's look at some of those little, little things that hinder people from learning to sew, even after they've invested so much to learn. Don't forget to hit the, the notification bell and the subscribe button. So you can get to know whenever we post videos. For our returning subscribers, I really appreciate you for standing by us and for supporting. Don't forget to share this channel. Don't forget to share our videos to every fashion lover, every fashionista, every fashion printer, every tailor, every designer, every person that wears clothes you know. Share our channel with them. So they get to see our videos we really want this channel to be very very interactive we want to uh, we want to add value we want to give out and we want people to learn so for today let's look at some of those reasons why people don't really learn one reason why people don't learn how to so even after they've invested so much is because they underestimate these crafts yes you know when you see someone that has mastered this craft on the machine doing his or her thing you feel like why wow, so easy or you see some people that want to probably sew and they'll be like, is it not? I just want to make this dress. Just just run it for me. It's just that the person signs up to learn how to sew. You get some boy, you now find out that man, <laughs> this is really not as easy as I thought. So one reason why people don't learn, even after they've invested, is because they underestimate this craft. It's good you just, I think it's, it's, it's better to be in a place of believing that I really want to learn this and I'm not expecting it to be that easy. I'm willing to put in the work, I'm willing to put in the commitment it requires. So in that case, when you come, you just know that I'm not expecting it to be easy, but I'm so, so prepared for it. Reason number two why people don't learn how to sew is the fact that let me let me put it this way you know when we come to a learning environment you get to meet people of different class different age group different background different exposure but the one common thing that has brought every person together is the fact that we all want to learn this craft it's a situation whereby someone feels like i oh, know like we are not on the same level are you getting so I, I i don't think we can probably learn together because one thing i have observed in our fashion school is the fact that people are not just they don't just come to learn and go they always have these uh, interactions discussion do you get communication and i actually love it because i believe that as, aside learning how to so there are so many other things we can learn from one another we can learn about life, we can learn about marriage, we can learn about relationship and even running other businesses from one another. I've seen that a whole lot. Do you get so? And I observe that people that tend to interact with one another in a particular class, they tend to learn more because the way A understands might be different from the way B understands. And even when the instructor is not there, people can interact together in their class. The person that understood more explaining to the other people and before you know it before the next class every person is more like on the same page so one reason why people don't learn is because some of some group of persons have felt like ah no we are not on the same level do you get like i know i know tailoring brought us together but babe we are not on the same level so when somebody is like so so up there to now like calm down and learn this thing eh you'll be looking for that motivation and you will not probably see it because you just find out that you don't really have good interpersonal relationship because you are busy thinking about your status 
Siva. Reason number three why people don't learn how to sew, even after they've invested so much, is not feeling not feeling like you are good enough. You know, for someone that maybe the class they've taught a particular topic the first time, the second time, the third time, and you are still not understanding. I tend to see people feeling like ah, am I really that dullard? Am I really dull? Why am I not understanding? You now see that person feeling down, trying to give up, feeling like ah, this this tailoring is, is actually not for me. It's not for me, but that's not true. Because the truth of the matter is that we all have different ways we learn. Some people are fast learners, some are slow learners. Wherever you find yourself, as long as you because one thing I tell my people is when somebody says, comes out to say, take this money, teach me how to sew. For any reason whatsoever, the person really wants to learn. I know when we come on board, you now find out that maybe the challenges, the difficulty, not understanding it so fast, you now start feeling down, feeling bad, feeling not so good with yourself. My dear, I just want to say this is one reason why you will not learn. Because you don't believe in yourself. Even though you are a slow learner, you don't have to be so hard on yourself. In my language, we say, Boni jeru, donyo sogi, ebonyo soru, oni jegi require. So take your time, believe in yourself, keep pushing, keep trying. You will definitely learn. And you'll be proud of yourself, how far you've come. So this year, make sure you don't give up on yourself. Number four, why people don't learn how to sew, even after they've invested so much, is the fact that, how do I put this now? Yeah, I tell people that if I teach you probably how to make a circle skirt, making just one is not good enough. Yeah, the assignment might be like just make a pencil skirt, maybe a circle skirt for yourself. For you to really master this, you need to make a second skirt for yourself, make for your sister, make for your mother, make for your neighbor, make for your enemy, make for a big person, a slim person, a fat person. By the time you do it over and over and over, it just becomes part of you. And you find out that the difficulty you encountered when making the first one will be reduced when you get to the second one in that way and in that order. And before you know it, You've already mastered the craft. So it will be like you are done with your, you only do one assignment. It's just that one they gave me and I've done it. Then after you are done with your training, you start calling me back. I'm working on this thing. Oh, this is my client. Her shape is like this. I'm not understanding. So practicing and making for different shapes and sizes. You begin to understand the way we are, the way we look, and that we are not the same. And what suits A might not actually suit B. So don't just do one. Make as many as you can. And that leads us to the next point. When some people feel like, oh, no, I don't have fabric oh, to practice. So if you're learning how to sew, you don't have fabric to practice. What, what will you use to practice? Are you going to use paper? No. You need, you need to have your fabrics. You need to always have them on grant. Thank God, I mean, there are cheaper fabrics now you can actually, you don't have to really use the uh, expensive fabrics. You can get cheaper fabrics just to really master this thing you are learning. So don't, whenever you feel like, you, whenever you start telling yourself, I don't have fabric to practice this, so I don't have money to, to buy fabric. I don't have this, I don't have that. It means at the end of the day, you will end up not learning. And you don't want that for yourself. So make up your mind. If I go into your bus, go into your wardrobe, the clothes you don't wear anymore, the ones you haven't worn two years ago, take them and practice. Take them and practice. Don't say, I do not have money to buy fabrics. So thank you for watching. And I think this topic, I think we, we haven't exhausted it. We still need to probably have a part B <laughs> because as I'm talking about them, as I'm, as I'm bringing out the point, more, I, more points are still coming up and I don't really want this video to be too, too long. Do you get So, thank you. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the, to hit the notification bell so you get to know whenever we post the next video. 
Are there other reasons why you feel people don't learn even after they've invested? Please put them down in the comment section. Let the conversation, let me continue growing. Like I said, please share our video, share our channel to every fashion person, you know, every lover, every fashion lover, every person that wears clothes so they get to know. So it can be as interactive as much as possible. Thank you so much for the support. Have a wonderful day. Bye.